Hello everyone. Um, last couple of days I've been doing some low poly, low fi texturing models. Uh, and some people were interested in the technique. Um, I don't know if you call it a technique. I'm a programmer by trade, I guess. So I guess you can call this programmer, but people seem to like it. So just figured I'd share some tips. Um, now this is all sort of started by me stumbling on uh, some artwork by Kenneth Fager, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, uh, and it just sort of inspired me to try and uh, play around with the style, and it's definitely something that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to make a tiny sort of low polygon pixel texture art tank. So I'm using Blender. This is uh, an old older version of Blender, the latest version 2.5 is uh, the interface is strange and confusing to me uh, at the moment so I'm just going to use what I'm comfortable with for the moment uh, hopefully a lot of the techniques will map to the other Blender if that's what you're using uh, so this is just the default sort of setting, you've got a cube and um, so the idea is to basically sort of, um, what I do is I model the shape first. I usually start with the m most complex shape in the model and then work from there. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is... circle and extrude it. This is going to form the top of our turret. in. Easy little trick is take all of this and uh, extrude the shape, but escape. Uh, so it goes back to the original points and you scale it. So they go in like this and that creates a solid top. And you can remove doubles and that removes all the other points so it's just one point little lasso tool last piece and we will extrude the turret render to see what the camera is seeing, or you can split this, go to 3D view and you can change it to see the camera view. Extrude this again. Take 
these points here. direction. Create a sort of plane surface. Just sort of edit the points. Faces. We're just going to use triangles and quads for now, but uh, when I'm ready to texture it, we'll convert it into a um, convert all of the quads into triangles, so we can actually use it in a game. So this is going to be sort of surface of the tank, the, the upper deck, I guess. And scale it again in the X direction, sort of. And again in the Y. Uh, this is obviously, this is pretty freeform. I don't have, um, like, I kind of sketch what I kind of want the tank to look like, but usually when I'm playing around with it, I like just, I keep going until I get something that I like the look of. So I'm going to delete these edges on the front and the back. And so I'm going to take that. Fill this in now. This is my first screencast, so hopefully you actually learn something from this, and it's not completely and totally useless. <laughs> Basically, that's kind of like the undercarriage of the tank and our treads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half of the tread on the one side and replicate that on the other side. for the tread as, as well. Hmm. 
what's the best way to do this? Undo face. So you want to be able to give it sort of Same with this purse. Uh, delete the face. Sort of just bulking it up basically to kind of create. Doesn't need to be perfect, but should try and get it close. faces face here so it's got kind of a um, side piece and then I'm gonna delete here to basically I'm going to extrude the track out of this. Um, take the scaling down a sec as well. 